Count Ivan Fyodorovich Paskovich Erevansky, Serene Prince of Warsaw, Russian, Dash, Tr. Ivan Fedorovich Paskevich Erevansky. Svetolchichin Jezvarsovsky, 19th of May, OS 8th of May, 1782 1 February, OS 20th of January, 1856, was an Imperial Russian military leader with Ukrainian roots. For his victories, he was made Count of Yerevan in 1828 and namesnik of the Kingdom of Poland in 1831. He attained the rank of Field Marshal in the Russian army, and later in the Prussian and Austrian armies. Ivan Paskovich was born in Poltava on May 19, 1782, to a well-known Paskovich family of Zaporoshan Cossacks gentry, he was educated at the Page Corps, where his progress was rapid, and in 1800 received his commission in the Guards and was named aide-de-camp to the Tsar. His first active service was in 1805, in the Auxiliary Army sent to the assistance of Austria against France, when he took part in the Battle of Austerlitz, December 2, 1805, where Austrian, Russian troops were defeated by the French under Napoleon. Portrait by Jan Severi Kunievsky in 1849 from 1807 to 1812, Ivan Paskovich was engaged in the campaigns against the Ottomans, and distinguished himself by many brilliant and daring exploits, being made a general officer in his 30th year. During the war with France in 1812-1814 he was present, in command of the 26th Division of Infantry, at all the most important engagements, and he won promotion to the rank of Lieutenant General. Paskovich with Abbas Mirza at the signing of the Treaty of Turkmenche, 1828 on the outbreak of Russo-Persian War in 1826 he was appointed second in command. And, in the spring of the following year he replaced Alexei Petrovich Yermolov as chief command. Under his leadership, Ikhniajan and the Nikachevan Khanate were conquered from the Persians. After the Persians unsuccessfully tried to recapture Ikhniajan, the Tsar granted Paskovich the title of Arabinsky, a million rubles and a diamond-mounted sword for his services. The Russo-Turkish War, 1828-1829 immediately followed and he successfully led the Eastern or Caucasus Front. For this he was made a field marshal at the age of 47. In 1830, he was engaged in the Caucasian War on the territory of present-day Dagestan. At the same time he appointed the high-ranking Muslim cleric Mir Fatah Aga from Iran as head of the recently established Caucasus Committee. Paskovich hoped that by the help of Mir Fatah's high stature in the Muslim community, he could make a very valuable contribution to the Russian consolidation of power in the Caucasus. Together with Mir Fatah's high esteem among Muslims and his devised plans for the Caucasus, they managed to keep the entire Caucasus stable from rebellious Muslim insurrections for many years to come. Paskovich Palace in Homel, Belarus in June 1831, after the death of Field Marshal von Bybich, commander of Russian troops in Congress Poland, Paskovich was appointed his successor in crushing the Polish uprising. His armies, following the decisive success of Dybich at the Battle of Australica in May, advanced slowly, but Paskovich redeemed his reputation at the Battle of Warsaw, giving a death blow to Polish hopes of restoring independence. He was created Prince of Warsaw and awarded the office of namesnik of the Kingdom of Poland. With the kingdom's autonomy limited by the organic statute of the Kingdom of Poland, the period under namesnik Paskovich, known in Poland as the Paskovich Night, became infamous for political and economic repressions, as well as for Russification. Viceregal Palace, Warsaw, with statue of Ivan Paskovich, before 1900 on the outbreak of the Hungarian Revolution of 1848 he was appointed to command the Russian troops sent to aid Austria, and finally compelled the Hungarian surrender at Vilagos. In 1854 Paskovich took command of the Army of the Danube, which was then engaging the Turks in the initial stage of the conflict which evolved into the Crimean War. Though he laid siege to Silistria, Paskovich advocated aborting the campaign due to Austria's threat to intervene in the war. On 9th of June he suffered a combat injury and was compelled to return to Russia, handing command of the army to General Mikhail Dmitrievich Gorchakov. Paskovich died in Warsaw, where in 1870 a memorial was erected to him before the Konispolsky Palace. It was demolished in October 1917 by the Poles. His remains were reburied by his son in the family mausoleum on the grounds of the Homel Palace. His widow Arena died in 1925. Thanks for watching.